Shalom, YouTube. We're here with a disturbing story of a of a piece of scum of the earth, a human waste, walking this earth, a palmetto pastor named Jonathan Elwing faces additional child sexual abuse and child porn charges in an ongoing investigation by the Montanay County Sheriff's Office. Piece of garbage, this man. Elwin, an agent of Satan, ain't no pastor for God, he's an agent of Satan, agent of the devil, was charged with two counts of capital sexual battery six counts of production of child sexual abuse material and six counts of child porn possession he was previously arrested and charged with possession of child porn elwig resigned from his position as senior pastor view baptist church just before his arrest now, during a forensic search of his cell phone, following his arrest, investigators found images of El Elwig sexually battering a child along with the production and possession of 12 images of child pornography. This piece of garbage that you see in the picture there. This scum of the earth this human waste was using a private photo vault app on his phone to hide at least 14 pictures of him sexually assaulting a two year old. Two year old. Ladies and gentlemen, this piece of garbage right here, two years old. Do you know the size? Of a two-year-old child. You know how, how, how little are two-year-olds? The county sheriff also found. Ten hidden cameras. In his home. And in his church office as well. The sheriff. Named Rick Wells. Told media. That a cryptocurrency company. Tipped. They tipped off investigators that Elwing had purchased C-scam content on the dark web. C-scam meaning child sexual abuse material. Elwing, Elwing remains in custody at the Manate County Jail and is being held on a $15,000 bond for each count. With all this stuff that's coming out with these pastors in these churches, right? People are still trusting their kids around these kind of niggas? Y'all still trusting your kids around these pastors? Hmm? Y'all gotta watch your kids like hawks. Because predators prey on the ultra weak. The poor single mom with no money or resources, the drug addicts, and using religion as a tool. A big majority of all of this happening is in the church. Is in this is with these A-list celebrities and all that. Take the Diddy situation, for example. Yeah, you know what he got hit with. Take the Jeffrey Epstein client list that still hasn't been revealed to the world yet but a lot of this stuff is happening in the damn church in the church one year ago I dropped a video and it's 53 minutes of and the title is you know uh, of corrupt priests the catholic code of silence Y'all should watch that. Uh, it was a good video. And YouTube, I know what them niggas was doing and what they doing now. They were playing with the numbers. 
on that video, along with the other videos that I do, so that y'all won't learn from what's really happening out here. That's what they do. But this that, that video I put up was a year ago. It's 53 minutes. You should watch that. You might look at that differently after you watch that video. And that man ain't no pastor. You can tell just by looking at him, looking at the picture, that that man ain't no pastor. What I want to know is how the hell did he get a hold of a two-year-old? How? Where was this child's family? Where was the mother or the father? Was this child trafficked? Did he pay money for that child? Is he part of a sex trafficking ring? Was he going to use this child also as a satanic ritual? Was he going to do things and start selling it to the dark web? Was he also going to do a snuff video uh, along with that? <sighs> these are questions you got to ask yourself. You got to ask these kind of questions. These niggas need to start shutting down all these churches. I mean, uh, cults. Not churches, cults. They got to shut down all these churches, all right, these cults. You know what I find interesting? What I find interesting is that they're catching and they're busting all these pedophiles in the churches and in general. And that's cool because we got the good agents out there. They're doing their job. They're doing what they're doing. Don't get it twisted. Not all of them is corrupt. You got the good ones. But what I find interesting is these stories keep coming out, which is good. You need to know what's happening in this world. How come these niggas haven't arrested Pope Francis yet? All these other pastors is getting caught up with, with, with these scams and being put up on the news. And they're arresting these people with proof. How come Pope Francis hasn't been arrested yet? That nigga was seen rocking the triangle symbol. On his clothing attire that's in the picture there that I put up on social media and in the community. That triangle that you see on him, that's a pedophile symbol. And that's also the same triangle that you will find in the FBI bulletin board. Why isn't he arrested? He is clearly showing the world and also alerting the other pedophiles because that's how they speak with symbols. But he's showing you world... To your face, to your face, that he is a pedophile and that he loves little boys. Yeah, that triangle on his clothing is a clear pedophile symbol. And it's a boy lover logo. And y'all cannot tell me that the FBI has not taken notice of that. Y'all cannot tell me that. You cannot, you cannot tell me well, all the stuff that the FBI does. You can't tell me that they looked at these pictures and they have seen him with his attire and just decided to look the other way. But they're cat, cat, catching all the other people. But why not him? When it's clear that he's he's rocking and showing you these clothes and, and clothing. Because remember, those symbols as well is used as jewelry, earrings, coins, and clothing as well. And he, he was wearing that. <sighs> Man, cops, do your job, y'all. FBI, do your job. The right way. You know, because y'all niggas is over here. And, 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 and this isn't to, to the good cops and the good FBI and the good agents out there. No, no, no. This is to the corrupt ones out there. These niggas is throwing innocent people's names on a terrorist blacklist watch list with the illegal Quarantel Pro having innocent people illegally stalked and illegally harassed with that illegal Quarantel Pro gang stalking that's happening all over the world. Where people are looking ridiculous, touching their nose, doing this, their eyes, touching both their ears, <laughs> coding one another around innocent people. And you got Pope Fran Francis rocking an outfit with a pedo symbol, letting you know clearly that he's a pedophile and prefers children and no arrest on him. But you clearly got innocent people being stalked and gang stalked. What? And some of these people who are illegally gang stalking, because we know it's spirits. This is spiritual warfare. There's demons. L look at these NPCs out here. 
all gang stalkers. Look at them out here. Which way did he go, boss? Which way did he go, boss? Where, where do you want me to go, boss? All these niggas is controlled. Taking orders. But Pope Fran Francis is showing you he's a pedophile. And you're having innocent people put on these watch lists, blacklists. But the real criminals is walking free. Make it make sense. This world is backwards, yo. This world is backwards. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Beware of those false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravenous, ravenous wolves. Matthew chapter 7 verse 15. A whole bunch of them. The Most High is going to deal with all of them and expose them all. And he's still not done yet. He's going to expose them all. And expose this gang stalking too. All of this. And be assured. An evil person. Will not go unpunished. The wicked are overthrown. And are more. Excuse me. Be assured. An evil person will not go unpunished. The wicked are overthrown. And are no more. For they will soon fade. Like the grass. And wither. Like the green herb. For the evildoers shall be cut off. As in Proverbs chapter 11, 21, Proverbs chapter 12, verse 7, Psalms chapter 37, verse 2, and Psalms chapter 37, verse 9. Y'all know what's up already. Stay safe. Stay prayed up. Repent to the Most High. Have a relationship with the Most High. Stay in prayer. Psst, unplug from this matrix. Y'all don't need these churches. All this religion that they doing. Because religion is just to control y'all. Y'all don't need that. It's clear that the agents are in the church. The corruption is in the church. Pedophiles are in the church. Witches are in the church. Warlocks are in the church. Masons are in the church. They're all over the place. The church is corrupted. And the Most High is exposing that too. But you don't really need the church. You just need a relationship personally with the Most High. That's all you need, That's all you need is a relationship with God personally. Because if he was here now, he would have been flipping over tables with to those Pharisees. Like he did while he was still while he was here. So y'all stay safe, y'all stay prayed up, man. Stay woke. To the next video.